Hi everyone. Today I would like to show you how to run the model of uh, there are two models I would like to show you today. That is the uh, Furrier ADS test and the second one is the Furrier's KPSS test. Okay, so to do these two tests, we need to have uh, two steps. We need to run the two steps. The first step that we need to see the graph of two variable of the variable. We need to see the variable, right? And the second step is that we need to run the the model, right? So today I would like to tell you uh, the where to check whether there is the uh, the unit root between the uh, in the real exchange rate between Singapore and Vietnam. So uh, now the first thing we need to do is that we need to import the data. So now you click on three dots. You can see the three dots here. So you click on this and choose the path. For me, I mm, I put my data on this, uh, this uh, folder. So for your case, it's up to you. Okay, so now the folder is for me is a journal writing and click on PPP. Okay, and so you can see that is nothing here. So you don't worry about this. Just select folder. Okay, that's it. And the second step that you need to download the data. So you go to file and then you open. Okay, and go back to the the folder again. So we have a journal writing and PPP, right? Okay, and now you select the Excel folder, Excel file. Okay, sorry, Excel file. For example, I would like to see in the PPP in Singapore and click on this. So you can see the PPP in Singapore here. You click on this and we can see there are three variables. First is the year real exchange rate Thailand and Singapore. And the last one is the real exchange rate between Vietnam and Singapore, right? However, we I don't need to check that there is a um, unit root between uh, Thai and Sing. So that's why I skip it. I untake it and I only tick on year and real exchange rate between Vietnam and Singapore, okay? And I import, okay? So now the first step I have already uh, told you that we need to plot, plot, X, Y, and then you copy this one. You copy PPP Singapore. I paste here and then comma. And I would like to see whether the river exchange rate Vietnam and Singapore, right? It is my variable and followed by the year. Okay, so it is two variable and then I close this. Okay, and then and uh, you press enter. And finally, we can see the graph between, uh, in the uh, of the variable. We can see there is the uh, uh, intercept here and the trending is upward trend. Okay, now go back and go back and then we do for the second second step. So you go to edit and now you want to open the file new. And then you change, you will change the, I close this one, okay. And you change the, you change the name, click on save and change the name and you want to save like a, I save on somewhere, it's up to you, okay. And then like, a, for example, I would like to see the FADF, okay, test, okay, between, um, Vietnam and Singapore, Vietnam, Singapore. Okay, and then I save it, done. And now go back to the command. Go back to the command. 
and you will copy this this line copy and then go back to edit so our file here and then you paste okay and now uh, we go to the copy some commands for the uh, Furio idea test now you check on Furio idea test from Gauss you can see Furio idea test here you open it and then you copy the first thing you need to copy this one that means the command between DSPDLIB. Copy. And then we'll go back to edit, right? Go back here, Furio, this one. You put on the top. Okay. And then you go to the second one because the constant and trend will because our data have a constant and change and copy again and then you page on this one okay and now we can see why here we, we substitute you with those ppp singapore Control c and then delete and Control v that's it and now you click on run this one the green button here so now after you click on the run button, you go back to command and you can see here, it is the result of the uh, Furia IDA test and the non-hypothesis here is the unit root and you can see the result is a cannot reject the non-hypothesis of unit root. What does it mean? That means uh, that mean this variable uh, have a unit root okay this is a uh, done i have just done the furia idf test now we move to the furia kpss now you do again right go to edit okay and go to you check in the furia furia kpss where you go down here keep Fill your KPS at here and you just open click, double click, open it. Okay. And now you can see the command for KPS here. You copy for the constant and chain, copy, and then you paste on here, right? So it's paste here. And you change the name. The name here, PPP Singapore, okay? And then you paste here. And finally, you run the model. Okay, you highlight it and then press the triangle green button here. Can you see? Okay, click on this. Okay, is there something wrong with this one? Mm. Ah, it's okay. Maybe because they are, they are the mistake here. Okay, so now uh, you run this one, okay? You highlight it and then run. Finally, we got it. You go back to command, you can see. Wait a minute, what is second? Yeah, it show you that uh, the non-hypothesis is stationary and the result is that the non hypothesis of secondary uh, reject, uh, the stationary what does it mean so we reject uh, we reject the non that mean this variable is has a unit root so we can see both the Fourier idea test and the Fourier case b asset we got the same result that means the variable has a unit root so the lesson of using Gauss today for the test of Fourier IDF test and Fourier KPSS finished. And if you have a question, please um, let me know. Thank you for attending and thank you for listening. Goodbye.